katawanaan Ayan ko sa magnanakaw na tako President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, magandang hapon po mula po sa VACC. You may now take your seats and thank you. Today we are celebrating the 18th foundation anniversary of the Volunteer Against Crime and Corruption. To start our program, may we call on Ms. Merle Jimenez San Pedro, Secretary General of VACC, for her message. Good afternoon, fellow peace advocates and anti-crime and corruption crusaders. The Volunteers Against Crime and Corruption extends its deepest gratitude to President Rodrigo Roa Duterte for gracing our 18th founding anniversary right here at the Rizal Hall of Malacanang and soon to be the People's Palace as the nation commemorates the National Heroes Day today. Highlighting the importance of today's gathering is an understatement. VACC turns 18 years old in pursuing its advocacy. Our journey marked by grief for every violent incident or even death that befell our member of our families. And unfortunately, exacerbated by the painfully slow grinding wheels of justice. But unlike a debutant's festive celebration, VACC turns its anniversary year in commemorative mood to recognize the pillars of the justice system, law enforcement, the prosecution, judiciary, penology, and the community that choose to stand out in the speedy and just disp disposition of cases for victims of crime and corruption. We are relieved of the fact that unlike last year's observance of our anniversary, where we were stripped off our venue at Camp Krame on last minute notice for unfathomable, unfathomable reasons, with then Mayor Duterte as guest of honor and speaker, today we are very much honored by the warm hosting accorded to VACC here. <laughs> here no less than at Malacanang, or what the president would prefer to be, the People's Palace. And this time, with now the President of the Republic of the Philippines as our guest of honor and speaker. We are elated to be joined today by the heads and representatives of the three branches of government, as well as our major and special awardees for, 20, for 2015 to 2016, belonging to the five pillars of the criminal justice system, member victims of heinous crimes and corruption and illegal drugs, and from our various local and foreign chapters. We're gathered here today to commit to the President our sustained fight for clean government and the campaign against crimes, specifically illegal drugs, which have bred so much violence and corruption in our country for many decades. We pray and hope that the government officials from the other two branches of government, the legislative and judiciary, will do their share for our quest for clean government and justice for victims of crimes, especially of illegal drugs. Today, let us be living little heroes every day to push for that clean government and a crime and drug-free society. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you so much, Sec. Chen San Pedro. 
And now, our founding chairman and president of VACC, Mr. Dante Jimenez, to deliver his Ulat Sabayan. Mr. President, it's my pride to deliver the Ulat Sabayan for this year. Here in the People's Palace. The PNP statistics in 2015, which appeared at the leading broadsheet paper, painted a sickening landscape of crime explosion in the country. From January to June 2015, the statistics report revealed a total of 885,445 crime cases, or up by 46 percent from the 2014 figure of 603,445 crime cases, or up by 46 percent from the 2014 figure of 600. 3,000. According to the same Philippine National Police Report, the increase in index crime was particularly felt. The same PNP report, the increase in index crime was particularly felt in the cases of carnapping, rape, murder, and homicide. That made the simple calculations and translated this report of an almost 50% increase in crimes for the first six months of 2015 as follows, 46 cases per day of rape in 2015 compared to 28 cases per day in 2014. Murder of 40 cases per day in 2015 compared to 27 day per day in 2014. Homicide at 36 cases per day compared to 23 cases per day in 2014. And if we are to gauge how much this year, this war of the President has progressed, we take great solace in what was reportedly reported by the PNP. Crime residence was 50,187 last July, a month after the president assumed office, or 5,552 fewer than the 56,399 incidents in the same year in 2015. Still from the PNP, index crimes or crimes against persons and property plummeted to 31% from 17,105 in July 2015 to 11,800 in the same month this year. Crimes against property like robbery and theft went down by 40%. I've made mention of these statistics just to prove that we, the victims, are monitoring all departments of government. We are aware that in the criminal justice system that we have now, it seems to us that while the executive branch of government is running by 100 miles per hour, the other branches of government are running less than 50 or 40 kilometers per hour. It is sad to note that the VCC recorded a total of only six decided cases during the year in review, 2015 and 2016. The number of promulgated cases has been at record low at VACC for the past few years. In other words, we are also aware how the criminal justice system works whether it is in favor of the victims or not. Mr. President, this is the reality in the streets and on the ground. 
weigh the victims. And I would like to cite as my exhibit A, Mr. Mike Arnell de los Santos Ortizoy, yung pong naka-wheelchair po, a victim of drug-related case. Before, he used to have two legs. He was shot several times by an official of my barangay in Taguig City. And now he lost two legs already because of complications. Because he said na paghinalaan na po siya na siya'y maraming alam sa illegal drug activities sa kanilang lugar. And so, he has to be silenced. But without the trigger man knowing that he's already dead, but kunyari, kunyari ang lang siya, nakilala po niya ang mga bumaril sa kanya. But despite of that, the case has been dismissed by the prosecutor of the city of Taguig. It's now under appeal with the Department of Justice. I just mentioned one particular case, and I'm sorry we have to exhibit Tisoy. This is just to bring to your attention that illegal drugs is the one damaging our society. 85% of our cases, handled cases, are drug-related po. Hindi ko nababanggitin po isa-isa yun. It will take a lot of time. And I'm just being given five minutes to have my ulat sa bayan. But what we are saying here, my dear fellow pillar of the criminal justice system, that we in the community is not sleeping. That is why we are very lucky. And this is the first time that many, majority of our members of the ACC supported the candidacy of, of now President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. I myself, and I must admit, I'm not a politician, but I campaigned actively because this is our last card. I'm 64 years old, the president is uh, more than 70 years old. I think we have to give the next generations to come a better community. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Mr. Jimenez. Now may we request the VACC Board of Trustees to please rise for the oath taking to be officiated by President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Can you raise your right hands and repeat after me? I state your name, having been elected to the position of Solemnly swear that I will and faithfully discharge to the best of my ability the duties of the present position and all all others I will have to hold under the Republic of the Philippines. The support and defend the Constitution of the Philippines that are bear true faith and allegiance the same that will obey the laws, legal orders, and decrees promulgated by the duly constituted authorities of the Republic of the Philippines. And that impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily without mental reservation or purpose of obligation. So help me God. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Mr. President. And now, to give the plaques and certificates to the VACC major awardees as pillars of the criminal justice system for the year 2016-2017, may we call on Mr. Dante Jimenez, 
Senator Coco Pimentel, and may we again request President Rodrigo Roa Duterte to award the awards. For the outstanding anti-corruption campaign is given to the Supreme Court to be received by the Deputy Court Administrator Raul Villanueva. Outstanding Judge is Judge Luisito G. Cortez, Presiding Judge, Quezon City, Regional Trial Court, Branch 84. <laughs> Outstanding Public Prosecutors are the members of the DOJ panel, Senior Deputy State Prosecutor, Richard A. D. Fadulon. Assistant Special Prosecutors, Ms. Maria Cristina Rillo Rosa and Ms. Maria Cristina Montera Barot and Ms. Olivia Torre Villas. Outstanding Private Prosecutor and Hall of Famer, Attorney Pete S. Principe. Outstanding Law Enforcer, PNP Chief Police Director General, Ronald De La Rosa. <laughs> Government Service Outstanding Institution, Public Attorney's Office, Attorney Persida Acosta. Outstanding television news reporter is Mr. Dominic Almerlor, and he will also receive the Outstanding Teleradio Anchor Award in place of Mr. Noli De Castro. Outstanding Radio Field Reporter and Hall of Famer, Mr. Carlo Mateo of DCBB 594. Outstanding Television Station, GMA 7, to be received by Ms. Mel Chanko. Yes. Outstanding Television News Program, 24 Horas, GMA Channel 7, to be received by Ms. Mel Chanko. And also, Outstanding Television News Anchors are Mr. Mike Enriquez, Ms. Mel Chanko, and Ms. Vicky Morales, GMA Channel 7, to be received by Ms. Mel Chanko and EVP COO Ricky Escudero Katibog.
Outstanding newspaper, Manila Times, Mr. Dante Ang. Outstanding individual for government service is Attorney Persida Rueda Acosta. Outstanding individual for government national official, former DFA secretary, Mr. Alberto Del Rosario. Thank you so much, Mr. President. May we now call on our founding chairman and president of VACC, Mr. Dante Jimenez. The President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Thank you. Uh, po kayo. The Senate President Aquilino Pimentel III, Ambassador Ralde, the Indian Ambassador to the Philippines, General Ronald De La Rosa, Mr. Dante Jimenez, Volunteers Against Crime and Corruption, Board of Trustees, Officers and Awardees, Fellow Workers in Government, my beloved countrymen. Alamo, <clears throat> uh, it is not only the drug uh, menace that has created a crisis in this country, but we do not seem to agree all. And this is a democratic state, and I will always grant, uh, concede that right to them, uh, how we define justice in this country. As lawyers, criminal law, especially yours truly, I was a prosecutor for 10 years. And uh, in school, there are two schools of thought, taught in our schools. One is that it's the classical theory that you pay for your crime. The other is the positivist, which is actually the one adopted the most of the countries now around the world, is that there is always a chance for the criminal to recreate himself and uh, uh, brought back to the mainstream of society. I agree, but not all. What, which, is the, which is the better gamble? Me, I stick to an eye for an eye and a thought for. You don't story, because Ako, I believe in the classical theory. Lahat naman tayo, may mga justices, sila tito, mga pagkagoberno, si Senate President, si Bartap Natcher. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it is how you characterize yourself. Kung ano ka. It, it's not really dependent on the professors or the learned lecturers of our country. But I said, it is always how you gauge yourself as a human being. 
Ang problema dito ay sa different interpretations and different, you know, uh, those pretenders and also no too much or no too little, dito tayo nagbabanggaan. Kasi when I was uh, pondering on whether or not they would run for the presidency, foremost in my mind, was the problem now of drugs, corruption, and criminality on the streets. The criminals uh, had a heyday. I do not want to attribute anything to any previous administration, but I would say, hinayaan nila. Hinayaan nila ang droga. And I was a mayor of Davao City. I was the favorite weeping boy of the human rights uh, people. Well, of course, uh, if that is their belief, then so be it. But the problem is we do not agree or we cannot agree on our basic principles, how we look upon crime, criminality, and the application of the judicial uh, interpretation of criminal law. Meron doon ng mga hardliner, meron naman yung gusto, scholarly journey in this world. You know, we only live once. We cannot come back here again to correct our errors. Now, during my campaign, I was hitting hard kasi galit ako sa gobyerno for actually letting the, the monsters to grow and grow, and I did not even realize until I became president how widespread and the dimensional problems of the drug industry. You know, uh, si Director General ng PIDEA, si General, uh, who was with me? No, he's the president of the OLC. Well, they made an, an accurate, almost an accurate estimate that uh, the drug was about uh, the addicts, rather, numbered around 3 million. Now, no na presidente ako, in Davao it was clean. And I would be very frank with you, in front of everybody and the nation. Davao, you can walk. Wala namang masyadong rape. There are nakawan, pero hindi namang gano'n na yung papatayin ka, rape pa yung pamilya mo. Uh, nung, <laughs> alam mo, prosecutor ako. And maybe, if, ultimately, yung persecution complex, baka pumasok sa isip ko. But eh, that ain't the case dito. Individual yun eh, kaso por kaso. Well, look at the guy, just also the body, body language, malangat na ito, totoo itong yawa na ito. Uh, parang ganun. I have acquired that sense of uh, ter, 10 years of the doing trial work. Nakahalata na ako na mahirap kong hayaan ko lang ito nung mayor ko. 1988 was the crossroads sa uh, ating bayan. And uh, there were a lot of uh, guns issued to people. Uh, without any investigation of whether he can handle if our hands. And because of the desire of the government at that time to get rid of the communists in my city, yung Al Samasa, and every time Dick and Harry, who claimed to be an anti-communist uh, guy in town, was issued if our arm. And the manufacturing of the Paltic, or the homemade uh, guns, which is also very good, actually was produced inside the police main headquarters in Davao City. There was a lathe uh, machine, they acquired uh, for uh, accuracy of the, you know, talagang finished product very good because they took in some guys uh, who were experts, it was uh, machining and everything. And so pag mayor ko, nawala yung NPA kasi medyo kaibigan ko. Uh, ngayon, hindi na masyado kasi uh, well, there's an exchange of harsh words. Because uh, maybe I'm, I'm not really 
uh, I'm a socialist. Uh, I'm the first leftist president of this republic. But it doesn't mean to say I'm a member of the Communist Party. Yun lang ang ano ko sa pagkatao. My paradigm is anak lang kasi ako ng mahirap. Uh, we migrated to Davao. It was a long sacrifice for all. Kaya lumaki kami na ganun. Uh, we never tasted yung mga kutsi-kutsi. It was not until uh, almost ano na kami, matanda na. So, ganun na. So, ang paradigm ko, kung madali kong kinausap ang mga komunista, ang problema, pumasok ang criminality. And so, they would just uh, enter any residence in Davao. Since you cannot withdraw more than 50,000, mahalata eh. The banks are only, would limit you each withdrawal. So if they ask for a certain amount, kung hindi makautang yung tao, they stayed in the, in, inside the house as boarders and, uh, uh, well, uh, freeloader and raping the women, all of the women inside the house. Two, three days, parang hinos days nila. So, doon na ako na, sabi ko, this cannot go on. This has to stop. And nung mayor ako sinabi ko, go out of the city in 48 hours. Go out of the city. Lahat kayong mga drogista, mga hold-uppers, all criminals. And there was a purge for those who did not uh, honor the Eh, patayan talaga. That's it. Pagka lumaban ka, any false move, you know, it was not until after the, the nauso yung bomba na self-destruct and blowing everybody out to the heavens. Noon, maghintay ka pa. But in the recent uh, conference uh, of the chiefs of uh, police in Europe and United States. It is now really oh, it's agreed among the law enforcers na you make a false move. Kasi pag sabi yung taas ka, taas ka talaga. If you if you start to scratch your crutch kung walang ano ayun, ayun. So, and, and that is good. And I said to De La Rosa, that is the theory that we should follow. Why should I sacrifice my, the, the, the police? I am very late because I just came in from summer. Then I passed by Tacloban, uh, the, 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 the policeman that uh, was wounded, and the other guy is very stiff. There with the, the wife and children milling around the coffin. Uh, hindi, hindi, hindi ko matanggap yung ano na you picture somebody itong mga shabu users that is why they can commit the bestial acts that a human being can make because of their brain which is already shrunk hindi maintindihan itong mga gusto ko yung murahin eh Hindi nyo maintindihan, akala ninyo mga bata-bata, you know, apostolis ito ni Kristo. God, when you talk about, you know, the, the, the bleeding hearts of present, eh kasi mahirap lang sila, bakit ang mga mayaman wala? Eh ang mga mayaman naman, di naman kumak... It's pure business sa mga malalaking tao. Itong umaman ng sa droga, kaya itong mga putang inang polis, eh mararaming mga mansyon na ang bahay. <laughs> with, the, with the active participation of the police and with the corrosive effect of money which is really very easy since you have a colony of addicts, yun ang nangyari sa ating bayan. So, they picture so lightly and so, so poignant that a dead idiot there who happens to, you know, if you are a user, 
then you are a pusher. Well, unless you are the son of the one of the Forbes uh, billionaire list there, eh, talagang, if you are hooked, you have to take it, you have to have the fix, and you have to find something to get it. Thereby, along the way, committing all crimes, and when are already skunk, they go around picking children and raping them, baske saan, inside a truck or inside a jug. Tsaka, wala na, wala na takot. Pag naka, ano, hindi nila alam ang utak, tumatak. Eh, I've been dealing with criminals for 10 years. Sino ba naman may gusto na pumatay ng kapwa-tao? They think that we, 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 we celebrate every night. You, the, the picture has something like a vicious murderer. Oh, well, as a, as a, you know, my international reputation, I do not care. I never had any intention of going international. As a matter of fact, I was not even ready to the last minute to be in national. A small time lang ako po sa Davao. But once I, when I was here, I cannot allow my country to flounder. Because if I do that, then I will compromise this generation and their children. Yan ang naka... Imagine three million. It's not a joke. Three million addicts. Or how do we fix them? I don't think of it. Do we have the hospital? We are operating on a budget. Gusto ko magmura. So, ang budget which was prepared the previous year is the one that I'm operating on. I say, why can't you just arrest them and place them everywhere? What do I get the money? You don't move around in this planet without money. Yung, yung pera na ginagastos ko ngayon to operate government is part of my ini, yung iniwan eh. Walang aso na there is a lump sum of 300 billion to take care of the 3 million 700 addicts in this country. Well, uh, yeah, because we have to go to Congress. But, uh, but there's a hearing now of the budget for next year. And that is the time that now they are. Kaya nga, lumaki pati yung intelligence fund. Kasi hindi ko sigurado kung saan ko ilagay. But I've ordered the military to open up their camps. Sila yung may mga lupa eh. Just give me about 2 hectares of your. Uh, uh, come there and where I can place the rehabilitation guys and also their patients. There would be thousands of doctors, thousands of nurses, and maybe millions for the medicines, the psychologists, you know. but you know, as the experts have really warned us before, six months to one year of shabu use will shrink the brain of a person. How do we go about making their brains bloat again? But go to the gasoline station and place the... Okay. Uh -huh. Think human rights. I know it is uh, the, the object, the target really is the establishment. The abuse of government on its own people. That's really the essence of it. But at some time, you know, even itong mga abusaya, you know, I have a little blood in me. Maranao ang lula ko. But for the first time, sinabi ko talaga, and I'm addressing you now, guys, nawala ang bilib ko sa inyo. Because a tausog warrior, well, that's according to the stories so, oh, sa mga dito ako sa Moro community, Supposed to be brave and honorable men. When you kill that child, seven years old, and the others in front of the camera, no, wala ang respeto ko sa inyo. That's why, pinadala ko yung mga sundalo. I know that there will be some reprisals. reprisals. I'm ready for that. There's always a drawback there. But, you know, every time you do that, it's a slap on the face of government. And ito yung muka ng gobyerno. 
Well, maybe Congress. But when you we publish it, what's wrong? What's, you know, what's keeping this country jerky? It's the face of the president. I, I, I would say just because. So, he is uh, poor, and because he was poor, that is the dramatics uh, of these idiots. Poor, so he has special privileges because he's poor. So, so you do not go hard at him. Maybe treatment, even though he's crazy already, you just have to sacrifice for publicity. Oh, dito na namin sa hospital to. And pag, pag, pag sa hospital, the hospital would just say, we'll take care of you five days after that he goes out. Because we need the bed spaces for the others. Oh, saan tayo pupunta nito ngayon? Where do I get the billions? Ang, ang budget ko hanggang dyan lang. Well, the, in the, that's bigger. Sabi niya, okay. Kaya in the meantime, pinapatay mo na lang. Ay, anak ka ng papatayin talaga kita. Huwag mag magprangkahan na tayo. Magpatayan talaga tayo dito. I cannot simply define justice that is fair to all. Life is never fair. But when you start, you who is the cause of the cause, is the cause of them all. Who gave you the right? Forget about God. Forget about the laws, the laws of men. You just think of the one universal equation. Who gave you the right to cook shabu? Sell it to my sons and daughters and make them crazy. Sino? Wag mo na yung Diyos. Wag mo na yung batas. Wag mo na yung unang human rights. Wag mo na yung sabi mong mga vigilantes. Who gave you the right to distribute shabu and destroy a community? You are going to destroy my country. You will die. Anak ka na. Magklaro tayo dito. I will not allow it. I will not compromise the next generation. Patay sila. Ano yung pamilya ngayon? If there is in the, in the family my drug pusher or drug user, sira ang pamilya. Automatically, that family becomes dysfunctional. Kasi magnakaw na yung bata kung wala nang makuha doon sa ano. Ngayon si drug lord. There is none. Where, where's the big fish? You know who's asking? Where, 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 where? My God, I'll tell you they are outside of the Philippines. How they conduct their business by cell phone. So, baske dyan sa prison. It is this, this is the only country where you conduct business regarding Shabu to the cell phone. So, ayaw naman sa denial. Months before, sinasabi na nga, may niluto na Shabu dyan sa loob. And I myself warned, warned uh, a secretary no, on the previous administration. When she was criticizing me for spitting the words in, in the Senate hearing, I said, you know, and it was in really also asked me. So I was just responding to it. I said, because in really, if you find the smugglers who rise in your city, what will you do? Ako, ang pagkatao ko, ganito, I'll kill him. You rob us 7 billion pesos a year? Hindi kita bubuhayin. Ay, you know, there's an amigo, I kill uh, people for money. But since you are an a drug pusher, I'll kill you for nothing. Do tayo magkaintindihan dito sa bayan natin. Well, this is democracy. Unfortunately for you, I won the election. But what was my, wala man akong... Ni wala akong senador, wala na ako, si Coco lang mag-isa. <laughs> Meron akong gobernor. Kasi kasintahan ko rin kasi, isang gobernor na... 
Si Abed Garcia, pati si Amy. Yan ang gubernur ko. Wala akong barangay captain. And yet, I won by 15 million. 6 million of that was my margin over. The, the. So, ang sabi ko noon, pag na ako, ito ang isyo sa atin. It's, it's not about impra-impra. You know, Every year may impra talaga. That's the source of corruption. Sabi ko wala ko. I will do away with corruption. It will be a clean government. Then and now, I will state to you publicly, there will be no corruption in my government. Because if you do that, Baka maisip ka, maisip, I'm not the good at Tagalog. If you do that, then I'd be, you know, might try to reinvent you into a drug pusher. Baka akala ko lang, sorry ha, eh, korap ko lang pala eh, akala ko drug pusher ka. Kaya nga, he was the cause of the cause, is the cause of the money. You only have yourself to blame. So you should not be shouting na uh, unjust. No? Sinabi ko na noon eh. When I was, well, the secretary leader is Ramos. May pinakita siya sa akin. Ayan. You're the 30, you're the same. He went to me. So nakita ko. So I just kept quiet. So, what do you intend to do? So, sir, wala akong pera, sir, talaga. No, 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 I'm not examining. What can you do for your country? So, I go, sir, I'm not the one who should be fixing this. Baka sa, sila mismo sa military and uh, police. So, no. You have to run. Because you're, only, you're the only one who can do it. So, ano, sir? Huwag na tayo, do not mess up with me. Tumagbo ka. I refuse. October 16, last, hindi ako nagpile. Nagalit, bu bumalik ng dama. Money? Do you want money? I'll give you a bank. You run. Saan pera, sir? Ay, maghintay ka lang. Kasi mag-contribute mo yung mga... Pero may binigay siya. Diyan, sa harap ko. Where's the money? Donated by my friends. An elite of mine. The list of the guys uh, that you have to thank. And so he was pressing me, so I substitute ako. So what was my program of government? No corruption in government. I will suppress drugs and crime. So, itong mga human rights, they should have campaigned for, against me. So how about now the 15 million who voted for me because they want corruption stopped? yung mga tanim-tanim bala niya. Isiper kita dyan sa badibag. <laughs> Mama eh. Ako yung tao na ordinaryo lang rin. Mga cabinet members ko, puro number one ko ko. Yung akin dyan, Baka hindi niya, I have assembled the best of men in the Philippines today. Tugade, huwag niyo, he's a billionaire actually, if you know Art Tugade. They were students, he was already the CEO of Del, uh, Delgado Shipping. Sunny Dominguez, kababata ko yan. Consistent yan, valedictorian. Okay lahat, yasay. Minsan, akakala ko, may Amerikano ba dito nagsasalita? Why does it work? Kababata ko rin yan. You know why? He's a son of a pastor. Alam mo nang magwawali yan dyan na ano. He learned a lot from his father. Kaya praktisado ang buang sa... Kami mga Bisaya lang kasi. So we are forced to... When we were first year, talato na itong mga Bisaya, titigas ng dila. Then we were forced by the Jesuits, Teneo. So you have to, you know the sound. You can't have a brass band. Come on, guy. 
Kasi matigas nga hindi lang. Kaya nga yung lulukaw ganyan. Yung mga pare. So yung voice and diction sa first year, napakahir. Talagang gaganon ka ng pare. Now, follow up term. Si little kitten sitting in the kitchen. So, ayan. Ngunit mas the old professor, the low to scold and brew into copious flow of resources. Ang mga bisaya ang tinawar kami. Talaga mo nabugwag kayo sa ganun ng pare. O, totoo. Matanong yun ang... Sige, ang bisaya kasi matingas. Ah, tell me ha, I'll give you an example. Itong mga politisyan, mayroon silang bata-bata. Here is this guy, every morning. And now, ladies and gentlemen, The next song you'll hear is from Doris D. Sing D by D. Sabi ng nanay ko sa ba, ipapatay mo nga yun. Well, that's life. But let us be clear on this. I am committed by my oath to Bobis. Yung, na, yung mga victims, they did not start the process that turned out to be bloody. Sila yan. Sila yan nagluto. Sila yan nagpababili. Alam nila na bawal yan. Mahirap ka umayaman. The, the world turns every 24 hours in a cycle. It will never stop to listen to you of your excuses. Just because mahirap ka lang, yung ganang hanggang ako, kung hindi ako sa gobyerno, ang anak ko ni-rape mong babae, bumog ka sa droga, bubuhayin kaya kita. Yung mga sundalo, nandoon sa hulungan. There's, a, there's fighting raging on yan. Sa ano, binuhos ko talaga yung sundalo doon. Pag uwi nila, malama nila na ang asawa nila, o niyan, yung naka, nilulang mo sa droga, o anak nila, hindi ginalaw mo. Would, this, would you think that he could, he could assuage his, his anger, his hated by just One dead body. Magwala yan. And hindi pa siya. Look, ganito yan eh. At the start, talagang pinasok namin yung intriga. Si A, nagturo, luluhingin. Si B, nagturo sa iyo. So, ulayan mo lang. Ulayan mo. Let him out. He wants to fix the case, let him. Tapos, he begin to look for B. And si C naman, sabihin namin na si A man na nagpiait sa iyo. Tapos, ulihin namin, sige, but, you know, you want to bail? Okay. No po. Walang problema. Paglabas, we'll go. So, we sold intrigues. I got it from reading so many books about mafia. So, it's just a Sayang walang mafia dito. I could be the head of a... Uh, a bit, uh, bright na ako dyan sa intriga. And we started. Eh, yung mga balot-balot, it's torture. That's not ours. Maniwala ka. Walang panahon si De, De La Rosa. Hindi ka niya masuklay yung buhok niya. Tapos magbalot pa siya ng tao. Oh, just shoot the guy and throw him there. Why do you have to? Ilang oras gawin mo yan? Yeah, yun ang trabaho ng kabila. Yan, yan yung torture nila. So, hindi lahat na patap, government, government, lahat na lang government. Yeah, yung, that's the drama that's being played out to you. So you choose. Me, I'm a hardliner. Me, I'm ready to kill. Because you destroy my country. I've been telling you. Do not destroy this generation. Or if you allow everybody 
to just come in and invite them to do business, the drug industry, then there is no tomorrow for your grandchildren. You'll end up just like the failed states of South America. Basahin mo yung kay Ian Grillo and how they operated. Led to yung mayor noon, babae, she takes her out of office in the morning and the afternoon, she's dead. That is why I am in favor of uh, Senator uh, yung postponement ng election. Because there is a war going on. And, you know, pag ginamit ng mga ano to, tatatapusin ko muna to sila. So, kakapunin ko to, castrate them, so that they will not, because otherwise, the next thing that you'll realize is that we have a narco-politics. Sabi ko, in three to seven years' time, papasok yan. Because of the so many billions. I don't have to destroy their lieutenants. If the lieutenant uh, is rich, hey, the poor, hey, ganun rin. You know, it cannot be selective. This is a war. Actually, my orders to the Villa Rosa is destroy them. My orders to the armed forces of the Philippines now fighting the Abu Sayyab, destroy them. Wala tayong drama dyan sa... Mananapag-usapan na natin yan. Treatment, you know, treatment of prisoners. Not now. We are busy with the... Then we will have a reckoning when the day comes. And we will answer. Ako. But let me... Uh, let it be known to everybody. Young police, pati military. If I order them to do something against crime and to stop criminality and terrorism, they will have my blessings and I will support them all the way. I will never, never, never allow a policeman, a soldier to go to prison for doing his duty to the country. Pahay tayo dyan. Pero yung mga tagdalawang asawa, ila, ila, ikaw ba? Ila asawa mo? Chief Pimpi. Takadabaw ito, pero ngayon, I have not heard. Or if I heard, I did not hear it. <laughs> so I cannot uh, stay long with your, uh, I'm also invited for dinner, yung mga may tama na mga sundalo. So, because it is kagiting, uh, sabi ko, let's have dinner in Malacanian. So, I, I bought so many wheelchairs, give them computers. Here's one lieutenant who lost his eyes, both. Nung, yung umiyak sa TV, yung yumakap sa akin. Sabi ko, do not worry. I will take care of you. I will reinvent you. So, it's now learning Braille. Maybe we'll have something... Uh, Baka sharpen your memory at magkuha ka ng law doon sa San Beda. Kausapin ko yung mga pare. Uh, oh, just if, if, he, if somebody reading to him will find out if he can be of uh, uh, service to his country in another way. Uh, the, yung AFP, to my horror actually, huwag lang maingay sa... Dating wala silang MRI, wala silang lahat. Ang building nila was yung drainage bumabalik na. Ano pa, paano yan? Pa? Ha, ba, to, the germs. Hindi, wala mang drainage na. So sabi ko, you condemn it, then I'll give you a new building. I gave them almost half a billion pesos. And, uh, sabi ko, itong, let me discuss. Wala, kahit mga negosyante tayo eh. Itong, inato lang tayo story, story lang muna I'm talking to you, I'm not delivering speech I'll, I'll end up three minutes ganito yan eh itong, itong uh, lowest bid tanggalin natin yan it's the source of all corruption I will not compromise the armed forces by nandito yung kuha sabihin ko sa'yo oh my god, I will not follow you 
Kasi lahat corruption yan eh. Yung pinakababa, walang kapital yun. Laway lang. Mag-imbinto ng korporasyon, ng MRT natin, ano yung nangyari sa krami, nag-express. Pagsagot ni, eh, kung siyempre may negosyo ka, tutubo ka, kung nakpatay na. Kasi gusto, bidding. Tama yan eh. Let's look at the bidding. It, it should be quality first. Ang specification is quality. It's durable because it's being used by government. But let's cut this crap of uh, lowest bid, lowest bid. Walang kapital yan. Isubcontract na yan, tapos yung 20%, alam mo na. <laughs> tapos another 20%. Would you believe it? Even the barangay captain, signs the completion sa barangay niya. So he gets another 3%. So ang project mo, kaya ang mga sundalo, sabi ko, ito, ito mga sundalo, one day pupotok to. Because they go around the country. Would you believe it, my airport, ang airport, akala ko, ikaw, ano ito, so, airport, sir, bakit may building? Parang basketball court. Tinig lang ko sa record, kumplito. At ano pang naya eh. Kaya ganito yan, yung 100 kilometers. Hindi talaga mag-lowest speed ka. Ang nadating sa'yo, it's about 60. Ganun yan. Kung sino ang magkabigay, eh, ikarga niyan doon sa kanyang contract price. Better disabuse your man itong ano, yung lowest speed, lowest speed. It's the source of corruption. Tapos maraming napailan ng kaso. Wait, ako, pailan mo ako ng kaso, si Pael kita. I would not compromise with the... Uh, there's only two sources, uh, two countries where we can buy the... You know? Eh, magbili ka sa iba. Lalagyan nila ng bakukang yan dyan. Eh, Nakikinig sila sa atin 24 oras. Tapos, yun ang lowest bid mo. Kalukuhan. Kaya I have, we have to talk to the, itong kuwa. Sometimes, uh, you know, when the... When the integrity of the republic is at stake, do not give me shit about the kailangan mo bili si ano ng lowest bid. Tapos yung mga baril, nako, there are said only two sources, two countries where we can buy the armaments and especially the gadgets for intelligence gathering. I have to inform you this because you must know. Alam ko hindi nyo alam ito, pero I've been with... 23 years akong sa gobyerno. Uh, 10 years akong prosecutor. One term ako congressman. One term ako yung vice mayor ako nung anak ko yung nanuntok. Yan si Inday. <laughs> Ganon ang istorya ng buhay ko. But I'm happy that we are here. Ayan yung... Kasi pag sinabi na victims of crime and corruption... Lahat tayo may tama. Kasi taxpayers tayo lahat eh. Yeah, but he said, uh, let us give the our, our people a respect sa corruption. I'll give them six years. I will be very harsh, very strict. But it's only because it is not our own money that we are spending. It's the people's money. So I agree with the with the vision. And then ang objective, with your vision uh, sa ating country, and I suppose that uh, dapat na tayo kasi maraming, alam mo pag anong tao board na magsige kamot ng kamay kung ano ang kate-kate na lang, I now realize it's time to stop talking. Maraming salamat po. Uh, Thank you so much, Mr. President. May we request the President for the photo opportunity, the first batch coming from the Volunteers Against Crime and Corruption, Board of Trustees and Board of Advisors and Officers, please.
please prepare second batch from the media sector. <laughs>